Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're talking modded arenas in WWE 2K23 as WWE Games modder Relic Reigns has uploaded two modded shows that once downloaded, players can use to play multi-man matches backstage as well as matches in the Double Ring Survivor Series arena where you'll be able to freely move between the rings and even explore the area with the holding cages. To set this up, all you need to do is head to the online tab of the main menu and then choose Community Creations. Now select Downloads and then select All. Once the recent creations appears, press the search button to bring up the search options and change the filter from Superstars to Shows. Next, select Hashtag 1 and enter the custom hashtag 2Rings, then press Search and Search again. Once the search results load, you should see a custom show named 2Rings, which was uploaded by the user Relic Reigns, hashtag 62960. Next, select this arena and choose to download it, then once it's finished downloading, select it again and this time choose Content by Creator. Choosing this option will show all of the creator's uploads, but the one that you want to select is Backstage Assault. With this arena selected, choose to download it and then once it's finished, exit out of Community Creations and go back to the main menu. Now that you have both arenas downloaded, to run you through how to use them, starting out with the Backstage Brawl Arena, this one is as simple as going into Exhibition and choosing to play any match type that supports up to 8 players, then selecting the Arena option and selecting the Backstage Assault Show from the Custom Arenas tab. Once you've selected the arena, the next step is to select the players that you want to use in the match and customise any match rules, then load into the match and you'll now have a multi-person Backstage Brawl. The cool thing about this is that everything appears to work just as it should as the AI will follow you around the area and climb up and down the ladders. The only awkward part is the camera as moving to the parking lot will cause the camera to pull back which can obstruct your view and you may find that the camera will occasionally cut away to focus on other superstars during submissions or pin attempts though you can disable that in the options menu by turning off camera cuts. Moving on to the two ring arena, this one needs to be set up slightly different as you won't be able to select the arena on the main selection menu, instead what you'll need to do is select the match type that you want to play and leave the arena as one of the regular arenas, then once you get to the selection screen, go into the match options and choose select arena. In this menu, if you select the custom arenas tab, you should find that the two rings option is now available. With the arena selected, now all you need to do is select the superstars that you want in the match and hit start. Once you load into the match, both rings will appear at ringside and they'll both be fully playable as you're able to move from one ring to the next as well as performing diving moves from one ring into the other. From testing it out, while it does work, it is a little glitchy as the camera will keep switching back to the main ring when you move into the second, not to mention that the second ring is actually placed on top of the announce team so you'll see their heads appearing through the ring. Despite the problems, it is pretty cool to mess around with and try things out, plus you can also access the area with the cages as the stairs are open so that players can freely run up and down them. So that's how to play multi-person backstage brawls and two ring matches in WWE 2K23. Let me know what you make of it in the comments and if you found this video useful, please do drop the video a like as it really does help the channel out. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.